thank you to all of you uh, because the meeting wouldn't exist without you. Um, I have just uh, really enjoyed uh, and learned so much uh, from our speakers uh, and from the chance to meet and talk with many of you. I do think we ought to give Paul, where'd Paul go? I can't, there he is. Um, we ought to give him a big round. <laughs> <clears throat> so you just did an incredible job, and thank you very much. Um, and the other thing I know about Paul and may not have really come out in the meeting is he's an incredible researcher. And so many of the new developments in the last 10 years, he's been the first or the second to be using these devices. And um, so I think we all owe him a debt of gratitude as a glaucoma specialist and an innovator and a uh, clinician investigator. So thank you, Paul, so much. And thank you for spending a day with us. So, um, Of course, I want to thank our sponsors again. Um, without them, we wouldn't be able to have a meeting like this. And without them, we wouldn't have the products, whether it's the drugs, the devices, the MIGs, new MIGS uh, systems and so on. So um, if you get a chance, you can certainly say thank you to them when, you, uh, when you're out in the, in the lobby. I want to thank the steering committee, Andrea Epstein, Ben Grass, Richie Kahn. Where's Richie? He's, I think Ben, where is, yeah, there he is. Um, and uh, certainly Sean Lynn, Dr. Sean Lynn in, in San Francisco and uh, Rebecca Valendra. So, Again, thank you all for your support. Uh, thank you to the steering committee. Uh, thank you to the Glaucoma Research Foundation staff. And I will share with you, they're already busy planning the next Glaucoma Patient Summit, which will be in Long Beach, California. Mark your calendars, June 24th, so a day yesterday, <laughs> uh, 2023. And I hope to see all, you the, all of you there. And I do have one um, sort of homework assignment, and, and I'm, I'm so delighted. Uh, I had a couple of complaints uh, during the meeting. And the basic complaint was, why aren't there more people here? And I, so I tried to be apologetic and say, well, you know, it's still a little COVID time and people are reluctant to travel and everything. But I think a lot of it is people really, despite all our best efforts, didn't necessarily even know about the meeting. So please tell your friends to come to Long Beach, bring them with you, and let's make sure we have a huge turnout in Long Beach uh, for these wonderful presentations. And uh, as I said, um, we're very grateful to all of you to uh, sharing your journeys with us, uh, to being our friends. And um, I just also have to mention that, that the support from grateful patients and from Friends of Glaucoma Research Foundation is what makes it possible. We get zero dollars from the federal government or from any government for that matter. Um, and every year we, we don't have a big endowment. We have to raise the money to fund our activities and our research each year. And that's uh, part of our challenge and frankly part of our fun because getting to know um, our different donors and to interact with them is, is probably the, the, some of the best part of my job. I don't know, I, between working with the scientists and working with all of you um, and knowing our donors, um, you know, what, what do they say? If, if you really are having fun, it isn't even a job. And so I'm very lucky uh, to, to have such a wonderful opportunity. Um, each and every day does really bring us closer to a cure. We are really making progress. Um, it is amazing. You, you saw one slide that showed in an animal where they actually could cut the optic nerve and then it could regrow and the animal actually had usable vision. That's pretty impressive. That doesn't mean it's going to happen next week in a person, but it means it's at least possible. And my, my philosophy has always been, if you don't try it, you're never going to get there. But if you keep working on it, I think, and I will tell you, I will share with you, the scientists that, with whom we work are themselves thinking 
we may really be able to do this. We may be able to not only protect those ganglion cells, but potentially replace them. And that would be huge. And um, so I hope that gives you some of the hope that uh, uh, our psychologist friend just talked about. It certainly makes my day um, and gives me hope uh, for, for all of you and for the society in general. So I've gone on too long here, but um, thank you for being with us and thank you for your support. And um, together, let's, uh, let's cure glaucoma. So look forward to seeing you again before long.